Okay, welcome back. We said that we wanted to take another look at writing uh, these equations from point slope to standard. This time we said we want to take a look at when they're not giving us a slope and we have to solve for them. Guys, it's the same identical process that we talked about earlier. We have a line that literally uh, passes through point 3 and 9 and 6 and 12. Now, let's be clear that we're talking about 3 is our x of 1 and 9 is our y of 1 and here, and here 6 is our x of 2 and 12 is our y of 2. Uh, from what I've been grading, it just seems as if we get mixed. Uh, we really we're not clear with what goes where, uh, what our what's our first x and what our y. And we talked about this earlier. We said this is low. Literally, we could make three comma nine our y sub two and six twelve our and six twelve our x and y sub one. But we have to make sure whatever we use for one, we have to use for the other. But since we got them in this uh, format, we'll just go ahead and use them here. Um, so anyway, let's go to our slope formula. First first step is we have to find slope. The slope has to be defined. So we do so with m is equal to second y value minus the first y value divided by the second x value minus the first x value. Okay, so looking at our ordered pairs, we'll have m is equal to y sub 2, we see it's 12, y sub 1 is 9, so that's 12 minus 9, and then we have x sub 2, which is 6, and x of 1 which is 3. Okay, so we'll do the math from here and that'll give us m is equal to and again that's 9 minus 12. 12 is the largest absolute value so that'll give us 3 and then 3 minus 6 so we have 3 over 3 and that's going to give us a slope of a positive 1. Okay, great. So we have our slope. So now we have our slope. Now we just go to our point slope formula, which is y minus y sub 1 is equal to our slope times x minus our x sub 1 value. Okay, now we just plug in. But before we plug in, we need to take what ever ordered pair we think is the easiest to work with so I'm just going to hypothetically look and take uh, 6 and 12 so I'm going to choose erase my fancy writing here make sure we're clear so I'm going to choose the ordered pair 6 and 12 Okay, so now I just substitute. Now here's my slope. These are all the pairs I'm going to choose. It don't matter. It does not matter which one of these we use. Uh, we're going to still get the same answer. So, but anyway, let's use 612 and we'll see y minus 12 is equal to a slope of 1 times x minus 6. Okay. So we're in point slope form right here. So we have our point slope. Make sure we understand that this is our point slope. And we're going to go from point slope and try and, and work to see what is our standard form. And remember standard form is AX plus BY is equal to C. And we said A, B, and C are all constants. They are all integers. They're numbers. They're all integers. A, B, and C are all integers. And we also said that A cannot be negative, leading coefficient, 
and we also said that a and b cannot be zero at the same time so any any one of those we have to make sure we adhere to those rules and then we can easily write it in that format so let's go ahead and use distributive property here that's going to give us y minus 12 is equal to and distribute 1 times x is going to give us 1x or x minus 6. Okay, now again we talk about this reflective property. Let me make it clear. Just to make life easier for you, anytime x is positive, here after we went through distributive, and we are trying to, to only work, uh, only get the actual problem translated into standard form let's use the reflective property again we said reflective property means we're going to train change places x minus 6 and y minus 12 without any kind of sign and that'll keep us from having to either divide or multiply by negative 1 to make sure our leading coefficient is not negative so here let's take x minus 6 and trans and change places with y minus 12. I want to say transform, uh, which it is a transformation, just simply flipping the numbers. Okay, so I'm uh, flipping the expressions actually. So here we have x minus 6 is equal to y minus 12, and we have to take y and put y over. Last time we did this, we moved the constants first. Let's go ahead and move y this time. So here we have x minus 6 minus y we move in y by subtracting because it's a positive y and that's going to equal to y minus y minus 12. okay left side we rewrite it because they're all three are unlike terms so that's going to be y minus 6 minus y is equal to y minus y is going to give us zero so that's going to just come down to a negative 12. Okay, so now only thing that we're left with is taking 6 and putting 6 over with the other constant, which is 12. And the way we look at that, we see that what's happening, the inverse of what's happening with this, uh, since 6 is being subtracted, we want to add 6 to both sides. So that'll be x minus 6 plus 6 minus y is equal to negative 12 plus 6 please guys be careful with this I just don't like the fact when we put it underneath and do the subtractions if we're doing the third grade subtraction method I just believe once we do that we get lost and what am I going to subtract 6 from so put them in a line put them in a straight uh, horizontal line and that way you see that you have uh, like and unlike terms so we have our 6, negative 6 plus 6. That's going to give us 0. So we'll wind up on the left with x minus y is equal to, and then we have a negative 12 plus 6. Again, rules say uh, integers or uh, real numbers, however we decide to look at it. The, the rules say when, when you're adding uh, two numbers with different signs you take the smallest absolute value in this case is six subtract it from the larger absolute value and then we'll come up with six from twelve will give us six and use the sign of a large absolute value which is a negative and then again here we have our particular standard form x minus y is equal to six where a in this case a is equal to 1 we have B is equal to a negative 1 and C is equal to a negative 6 and then we talked about earlier if we got here and we really wanted to graph all we have to do was solve for what for our intercepts and using this and let's just go ahead and and, and do it to see exactly what it looks like so let's go ahead and solve for our intercept here, if we were asked to, to graph this particular equation, so that would be x minus y is equal to a negative 6. Solving for our y first, that will be 0 minus y is equal to a negative 6. And that will be a negative y is equal to a negative 6. 
divide both by negative 1 and we'll have y is equal to 6 and our ordered pairs in this case will be 0 comma 6 okay good so now let's solve when we could go ahead and plot that if we were if we were graphing so now let's go ahead and take a look at what our x intercept will be and again we rewrite the formula as x minus y is equal to a negative 6 and we substitute 0 for y that'll be x minus 0 is equal to a negative 6 and x is equal to a negative 6 so our ordered pairs here would be negative 6 and 0 so again just want to put this little supplement in on for you so you can understand that not only can we write uh, from point slope to slope intercept but we can definitely write from point slope to standard and, and this author but the, the, this this individual really feel that this is vital when it comes out of your uh, in a course exam or CFA or however we decide the most important but I do believe that having this ability will arm us with, a, with at least three four five problems that we can get correct on the test so thank you for your interest and I'll see you next time